The battle of the best continues as Kunigami tries to win a battle in the air against Shidu. Kunigami manages to hit the ball away from the awakened prodigy as the ball goes right to Corona's feet. Kunigami's growth has really been showing up in this match, but the thing we need to see the most from him is a goal as he has to continue the chemical reaction between the egoists and bring them to further heights just as Isagi has put Kaiser in despair. If you resonate with my content, consider subscribing. Isagi thinks that he can devour the emperor and completely get him off his throne, which makes sense since he scored that amazing goal just a couple of chapters ago. If Kaiser keeps being abused by Asagi, he thinks that Kaiser won't be able to escape his obsession with him as that is exactly what Asagi is aiming for. Without a clear mind, you can't play football at your full capacity. It will make his movements predictable, and if Asagi takes advantage of that and continue chemical reactions with Corona and Hiori, he's certain that he can win. In some cases, that anger and tunnel vision can work against him too, though, so he has to watch out. He himself was put into despair multiple times, but came out of it alive with the main antagonists being Itoshi Rin and Michael Kaiser himself, as the gap between them was huge at the start of the Neo-Egoist League. Kaiser invites Isagi to continue this battle as he is aware that Isagi wants to devour him. He recognizes the feeling Isagi is putting him through as he thinks about his worthless father who abused him like crazy. His father used to put him through these same feelings every day when he was a kid. Kaiser is convinced that he has surpassed his father long ago, but because of Isagi, his existence is shaking again. If he doesn't win and surpass him, everything will be taken away from him. However, Ness runs up to Kaiser as he urges him to calm down. He thinks that they've achieved enough results because he scored goals up until the previous match and also got that offer from Real Madrid. But we obviously know that it isn't enough for Kaiser as he's going to feel extremely humiliated if he doesn't beat the obstacle that wouldn't have been a challenge if he stayed the same as he was at the start of the Neo-Egoist League. Kaiser shouldn't let that awkward good-for-nothing ego enter his bloodstream because that's when he's truly screwed. Ness doesn't want Kaiser to make reckless plays and wait together for their chance to fire the new weapon he created as Ness assures him that he's there for him. His take on the situation is pretty rational, which makes sense as Bastard Munchen plays through rationality and logic. But in Blue Lock, it often doesn't turn out to be the most effective strategy as everyone evolves at a rapid rate in the Neo-Egoist League. Kaiser's looks at Ness with violence as it will all disappear if he loses to someone like Isagi. Maybe Real Madrid would end up offering Isagi a place instead, but I'm convinced that Isagi would want to go to Bastard Munchen anyway and play alongside Noel Noah. The entire world is watching this match, which means that defeat here wouldn't just be a simple loss as Isagi traps the ball. Although I think he's exaggerating when he says that he will return to the time when he wasn't human, as he'd be able to play professionally whether he wins or loses anyway. It's just a matter of him being able to accept himself, which probably won't happen. He might just end up like Snuffy's best friend. Kaiser misses his tackle as he recognizes that he is afraid of losing the current him and returning to the worthless piece of trash he was before football. Isagi just continues to take and take even though Kaiser has gained status, honor, and money. He felt like he has become a human who is desired by others, but he's afraid of losing it all. Though I'm sure Ness would continue to stay his pet anyway, as he's already opened up to him this match. Isagi dashes forward now as Kaiser has fallen on the ground. He was never prepared for a situation like this, as Kaiser only chose opponents he thought he could win against and never truly challenged himself. Isagi, on the other hand, has been doing that all the time ever since the start of the second selection, when he wanted to test himself against Itoshi Rin. Never afraid to test his limits and never afraid to lose a battle, he settles in places where he can remain the king without getting hurt. He fought for that position so there wasn't any need to do anything that would shake the proof of his existence now. But the situation he finds himself in right now is not at the top. He never was on top anyway as Noel Noah was the king of Bastard Munchen at all times. It's just that Kaiser likes to prey on the weak and take everything away from them while trying to validate that he's the best. In other words, Kaiser has always been delusional. He doesn't have the best view in the world yet, as he realizes that fighting to protect his current glory won't allow him to prove his existence any further. He has no choice but to throw his glory title and pride away, which is everything that made him feel like he has become a human. This is basically what Isagi has done, as he discarded his previous beliefs and updated it with new ones that would serve him better in the world of football. He's becoming zero now, as this is the sensation he should have been seeking for since the start of his professional career, as he suddenly remembers holding a football as a kid and lying down at night while hugging the ball. That's Kaiser's originality. He bursts through the field now while being enraged as he's ready to hunt Isagi Yoichi. Watch this video next where I talk about the reason Ego Jinpachi chose Isagi.